This is a breakdown of the blueprint needs for the fuel blocks. Uh, here you can see from the base blueprint to the maximum material efficiency researched uh, blueprint. You've saved two oxygen only. You save a bit more on the ice products, but again that's uh, not a part of this video, as well as the Alliance people doing industry. They've got a few of these blueprints around, so don't stress yourself too much about it. What's important here to note, uh, down here on this line are all the raw resources. Over here is uh, tier 1. On this line is all the tier 2. And then we've got the one uh, tier 3 production going on over there. So, the 6,000 that I've got over here, there is 6,000 raw materials needed to power a tier 1 factory non-stop. The raw resources run in 15, 30 or 60 minute cycles, depending on how long program you've selected. The longer program that you run on your extractors, the longer the intervals between resources being deposited. All tier 1 factories run on 30 minute cycles and they take 3000 input and make 20 output. So I simply scale this up to one hour. And then for the tier 2, all tier 2 productions will produce 5 per hour and it needs uh, 40 input from the tier 1 products below it per hour. So as you can see for enriched uranium to produce 5 every hour it needs 40 each of precious metals and toxic metals. These in turn need 6000 per hour each from noble metals and heavy metals. And this aspect, this uh, concept runs the same throughout for all tier 2 production. That starts getting different from tier 3 and tier 4 because they do not uh, always run the same. There might be tier 3 production that needs tier 1 inputs and skips tier 2, etc. For us, for here, for the fuel block production, this is what we're dealing with. In the olive green are the products that are needed for the blueprint runs. You can see here the enriched uranium, it needs 4 per blueprint run. So in an hour's worth of production, you'll get 5, so that is enough to power a blueprint run. Oxygen, for the tier 1 factory, you're going to get 40 per hour. The blueprint needs 20, so you're over-catering a bit. That's not a problem. Mechanical parts, slightly unique for this one, because it's needed both as a direct input for the uh, blueprint, as well as a subcomponent of robotics. So for mechanical parts, we're going to be having three factories in total. Mechanical parts being produced over here, 5. Needs 4 for the blueprint, that is fine. Coolant, it needs 9 for the blueprint and as you can remember tier 2 produces 5 per hour so you need to have two coolant factories running it simply means that you need to double up uh, on the tier 1 production and double up on the normal uh, re raw resource production as well and then you can uh, produce enough coolant every hour for a blueprint run. On the, on the robotic side it needs uh, two times factory outputs from tier 2. So tier 3 production produces 3 per hour. It needs 10 each from its inputs, specifically for robotics that is. So it needs 10 consuming products, 10 mechanical parts, and they only produce 5 per hour. So once again, two factories each for the subcomponents to get robotics going. That means all the tier 1 and raw resources below it are also doubled up. So for the too long didn't read edition, this is the uh, resource requirement to power a factory planet for a 24 hour cycle. So that's 1920 each of these, 2880 toxic metals, reactive metals and 3840 precious metals. If you provide your factory planet with this batch of resources, it means that one complete set of factories will be running for 24 hours non-stop.